Hello, my name is Michelle from Boho Crafty Chica. Welcome to my studio in Los Angeles, California. And I'm very happy to be here doing my very first video. Um, it's, it's been an experience because this is probably my sixth take. Um, if there's not noise in the background or something else, I don't know what, but, um, but we're here. We're here right now, and I'm really happy to be um, presenting you these beautiful, lovely ladies. Um, there's three of them. These are faux ledger journals, and um, they uh, are all spoken for, I'm sorry to say. I do have another batch of the same series coming out, so just let me know if you're interested. And I'm here to do a flip through just to show you um, how fun this project was. Um, let's start with Iris. So the, the books are all similar um, in the sense that um, they have some of the common pages from the books that I chose to put in here, um, but they're not identical. I just wanted to make sure you were aware of that. Um, they're all bound with... Um, this seam binding, and they all come with a little um, vintage looking um, vintage looking charms. Um, let's get started. I'm going to show you the binding part of it first. Um, I like to use jewelry knotting thread. Um, usually you, you see this thread um, for knotting high-end beads like pearls um, and I just I just love putting them as dangles in um, in the binding threads and using vintage buttons. These um, beautiful vintage buttons are from one of my boho sisters. Um, she has an Etsy shop called Mary Not Martha and she has an amazing set of buttons. Um, everything's reasonably priced, but that's, that's where you can find these amazing buttons. I know if I was watching, that would be the first thing I'd be asking. Where did you get those buttons? Um, as far as the linen, laces, and things like that, my linen has all been curated from different um, antique stores or um, flea markets. Um, let's see, let's get started. So, a little bit about the cover. The cover, there's, as far as digis go, I only used um, two digis. One was the cover, and um, I'm sorry, I don't remember who I got this from, but I will get that information for you guys. The cover I um, lined with brown paper bag, and I love, I love the texture that it gave. It gave it some stability, um, and it was fun to do. And if you'd like to like see like a craft with me on how to how I did this, we can have. Um, I could do a video of the next batch. Actually, you guys can make it with me. Um, here, I just put a side pocket with a piece of scrap, um, you know, linen doily. And this first page, which uh, all the journals have this one, is from the New York Times, 1918. Um, I uh, lined, if you see like lace or um, fabric in some of my older papers, it's because I needed to add some kind of stability um, because the paper itself is so um, delicate and crinkly. Um, I, I didn't want it to fall apart. Um, this lovely, lovely coffee dyed paper is one of the specialty papers that's in each of these journals. It's, uh, this paper is actually from um, a collective sister group uh, called Ideas Times Two, two sisters. Um, and they have a shop and they sell wonderful things like buttons, um, naked journal books, supplies, and these papers. And these papers are amazing. I, I actually don't 
want to try to do something so so intricate as far as like trying to to coffee dye myself it just looks so daunting um and i love it i love the quality of of the paper itself um this is from needlework um so i have a book called the encyclopedia of needlework it's from ann kaufman originally uh, the book was printed in the 1800s, early 1800s, and um, it's just filled with every single vocabulary word you can imagine that has to do with lace making, quilting, applique, um, any kind of needle work. Um, just amazing. So. Uh, of course, my copy is an unabridged um, mid-century copy, but if I ever find one of these originals, uh, I'm, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> um, and like here's, this one is on American patchwork. It's just like every, I don't know, it's just very interesting. This particular book, I put the first page in it. Uh, this one that we're looking at, her name is Iris. So there's three of them, Iris, Ivory, and Lily. And this one is, is Iris. Um, so back to the digis. So the only digis I have is, once again, the cover. And then um, I'm a huge fan of Rachel from Roxy Creations. And she has an ephemera kit. And I just feel like this is as close as you can get to looking authentic. Um, this particular one actually is from Rhonda from A Little Bit French. Uh, she has a digi and uh, I just, I, I had to have it. But um, Roxy Creations digi, she has a series of them. And I love them because they're great little pieces that you could bundle up and make a little cluster and just you know put it in your in your journal book It'd be a really great um happy mail gift too so we have a, a map uh, the specialty papers is this book um iris got lucky because she was the last book that i made of the series and so my delivery of some special papers arrived like just in time to finish this book up so she's the only one that has um some of these specialty papers that I have. Um, this is a page from a book, an antique book from the 1800s. Rag paper is what this is uh, called, and it feels like money. It just feels amazing. You, you, it's marvelous. I um, cherish my bundles that I got. I got from Roxy Creations. Her book, her little book page bundles. Um, I and mean, I still have some, so it just definitely goes a long ways. Um, she puts incredible pages in it. Um, we have recognizably the Edith Holden page. I put a little bit of lace there. Um, a, an authentic uh, ledger page from 1913. Um, a, vintage music page and uh, just a tag that I made long strip with some collage of vintage um, ephemera and some vintage uh, linens and lace I can't get enough of it I guess and backed with some um, some ledger paper the ledger I kept like the marks that were on the ledger paper I just thought not to cover it up, um, but it can easily be covered up with a collage piece of flower or something like that. Um, Braille paper, just feels like an interactive <laughs> book. Um, here I, I have another specialty paper of birds and it's just beautiful. Quality is just so nice had to put, this is just a piece of ephemera, um, and I had to put this handmade paper 
um, that has uh, flower petals and, you know, uh, leaves and things. It's just wonderful. Another Edith Holden with some beautiful lace. My laces, um, I get them from Georgianne Miller, who has, a, is, I hope I said her name right. Um, she has a Facebook group called, uh, I'm, about, I, I'm not messing it up, I think it's Damsels in Lace or something like that. But um, she puts out these bundles that are just to die for. They really are to die for. They're amazing. And I don't hoard it. I put it in, I put, it, put her lace in almost everything I make. I love it. Um, more magazine page. Um, I, I, and once again, lace uh, to help the integrity of this old vintage ledger. Um, and then we have a Kate, Kate Greenaway, who has this amazing book that came out in the um, 1800s. Um, my copy's a mid-century copy, but I still love it. It's called The Language of Flowers. This is where I got the names for the, for the journal names, um, Iris, Ivy, and Lily. Um, just a fabulous little book, must have. This is um, Edith Holden, and I'm not afraid to put Edith Holden there. Take those pages out of the book. They're all uh, mid-century, so they're reprints, but they're just amazing. And these ladies all were doing this about the same time, in the early 1800s, early to mid-1800s. This is a piece of French document letter. Um, I don't know what it says, but look at some of that writing. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. There's pages from a magazine that's like a needle craft magazine um, from the early 1900s um, called Royal Society. And it, you know, the pages are modern. And they're that shiny kind of paper. Um, but I did, I put some of these pages in um, these journals. There's plenty of space for journaling. I hope, um, I hope no one's afraid to put journaling information in here, or just precious notes or, here's a piece of the coffee dyed paper. More ledger. Edith Holden, more vintage paper. This is just some, a scrap of dotted, dotted um, eyelet fabric. And each journal has a, 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 a long, Tag. I wanted long tags um, because these these journals they um, they measure about um, eleven inches by um, by four, and so I just didn't want to put short short tags in there, which is why I made these these long longer tags. Um, to go with the book. Um, each each uh, journal comes with a textile mini journal. And um, I love this. This project was inspired by uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations. And uh, the day she showed it, I 
I started making these. I just, I just love it. So each of them are made with um, a page from the Needle Encyclopedia. Um, and they have textiles in them. Um, there you go. Look at that. Some of the fabric in here is from um, Rachel's fabric kit. It's a little bundle of fabrics, really uh, some vintage and um, some hemp, all kinds of wonderful fabrics. Some of them are my own. This little piece is one of my fabrics. Um, and kind of like the icing on the cake is these labels. They're, um, of course, you know, they're the um, Tracy Fox labels, and she has a, a digi of these labels that's called Fabric Swatches. Uh, I love it. Since I like to work with textiles, um, that's a must-have for me in my arsenal here. Um, this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous page is um, from a bundle from um, Sheila Gingrich. She is the founder of uh, Boho Daydreams. It's a Facebook group where we all support each other and um, get new ideas and um, see what people, what projects people are working on. And it's just, I don't know, I find it to be a really lovely um, group. Um, Anyhow, back to Sheila. She does these these bundle packages because she she actually hand dyes all of this. She hand dyes the velvet and the silk and these eyelets, and um, her bundles are also to die for. Um, I love them, and I I I sincerely feel that um, my journals without Sheila's beautiful trims and um, embellishments just wouldn't be at the caliber that they're at. I, I, I feel my journals, this is like all my journaling things that I make. Um, this is piece of this has to be in everything. Um, here you go. These are the wonderful labels. Hope you could see it. I hope it's like not too blurry or anything. So Iris came with a blue textile journal. And I'm basically now going to show you the textile journals that each book has. So Ivy, um, she also has vintage buttons and a piece of linen, um, linen embroidered um, doily. Her uh, charms. Each book is a little bit different. She has a pocket that I put on one of the ledger pages. And let's look at her textile. So uh, hers is in pink and um, there are the buttons. Same, lab Tracy Labels. Um, Roxy Creation Digital of Letters. And here you go, isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. And the lace, once again, a Sheila Gingrich bundle. Um, just fabulous, huh? I love these little mini. Um, textile books, journals. Let's look at Lily. She's the last one. Lily uh, wasn't made with the doily. She has lace. And again, um, all my lace I get from George Ann Miller. So it has the same thing. I want to give a shout out to um, Leslie from 507 Willow House Journals. She is a Southern Belle, and um, I love just watching her videos and crafting while she talks, because she just, you know, just the hospitality and 
kindness that comes out of her mouth is just so necessary, I would say. So um, she showed something that she made where she had layered some tiny little pieces and she's just a natural at it. She just, you know, can take anything and layer it and make it fabulous. Um, so I just impromptu, you know, layered some pieces of scraps that from the cutting and stuff that I did. And I, I like the way it turned out. Got a ledger photo. Another tag. And, um, yikes. Here is her little ephemera bundle that I put in it. Love it. Oh, and these flowers. So this little flower, I don't know if you could see it, but it's from a Japanese ribbon that I don't know the name of it, but um, it, it makes these darling little tiny flowers and I just put a bead in the middle. So every journal has one of these. Um, you might see some pages like this that I adhered with lace. And if you're able to see, you cannot see any, any glue on this or anything. Um, so we'll, <clears throat> we'll, if you're interested on how I do that, we'll, we'll do something like that together. Now that I think I might know how to do these <laughs> videos. Um, a charm. Here's a tag from Edith Holden book. And here is um, Lily's long tag that I made. Let me just move on to her textile book, which I'm silly about, but I love it. Um, so hers are in the neutral and brown tones, a metal button, nice little metal button, and some vintage buttons. The, these are definitely some of um, Roxy Creations little fabric bundles. Look at these wonderful Tracy Fox labels. And then I'm gonna just show you up close. Now, this is the shebang piece. This is um, French metal lace fringe. In the 19, early 1920s, this was the big thing. Um, it's hard to, to actually come by some of this. Uh, I, I picked it up from um, a cute little Etsy shop that I wish I remembered the name, but I don't. And if I do, I will, um, I will post it on the information. Um, and then here we've got the more textiles. Look at these labels. So that's it. And if you would like to do some craft with me or learn some, some of my techniques, I guess. I mean, everybody out there is doing this, so uh, there's a lot to choose from. But if you, um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys if you're interested in, in me doing more of these videos. I'm sure I'll get better as time goes. Um, and then I want to show you a sneak peek to one of my next videos I'm going to do. Um, it's going to be a craft with me. And um, this one's not complete. But I call these skinny minis. And they're just skinny little mini journals that you could put in your, in your journals. And uh, this particular one is ready to be bound. It has some um, gorgeous um, Florentine Italian paper and some other specialty papers that just are so lovely. Some ephemera. So these are, are going to get 
um, bound with that technique where I use the knotting and it'll have beads and maybe uh, we'll decorate the front. But I'm gonna let you go now. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this. Um, can't wait to see your comments and have a wonderful day.